Welcome back to Let's Play. Final Fantasy X. It is nine in the morning, and I'm tired. Just like I have had barely any sleep in the past few days. I literally couldn't sleep. It was horrible. I just feel so fatigued and feel so shitty. So, gonna give the college a miss for today. But, that's besides the point. I just played a bit of Let's Ball. And, uh, I gotta say, that was the most intense game I've had in a while. I mean, look at that. 1 nil. Usually, it'd be much like this score down here, where it's like 5, except it'd be 5 nil. That. A A A A Egar, or whoever the fuck you are, is probably gonna get the most goals. Now, there's a reason why I only scored one goal here, and that is one. In the first half, I had Datto on the team, was like, hey, come on, why not? You're, what, level four? You're so under level, but fuck it, come on, join in. And so I didn't get any goals in. Could have scored with Titus, but their defense is ridiculously good. I'm surprised the looter of all characters was able to get the goal. But then again, it was all down to chance now. I just got their uh, defenders, like, out of the way, and whiff a shot, and got the goal. But I couldn't get any other goal. So, yeah, it was really intense. Actually, wait, seven minutes. Yeah, that would be the second half, wouldn't it? On the second half as well, this one, one of their strikers was really persistent. He kept coming up to the goal, trying to do a spear shot, a normal shot. But every single time, uh, Botta, I think it was, was always there. Just like, every time he dribbled to get out of the way, Botta would persistently just like, rub a band around him. He's just like, no, I'm not letting you pass. I'm a freaking defender, motherfucker. Gotta say, Nada may have the best stats compared to him, but Botta is a pretty persistent defender, so he's pretty good for what he is, you know. And Keeper as well did pretty well. Uh, there were two goal uh, uh, attempts in the game, and he blocked both of them. So he, he did his job quite well, and he even got a level for it. So yeah, if not for that, that would have been a tie, potentially, you know? But this is just a tournament, by the way. So who won but- oh wait, we already know, Kill the Beast. How the fuck do they dominate so much off-screen, seriously? Although when I face them, they seem more like a really defensive team than an offensive team. Because their defense is great. I forget which team- which team did I face? The Luka Goes, yeah. I think it was the Luka Goes where I faced them, and they did the most retarded thing possible. I mean, it's a uh, well-known tactic, you know, the best defense is a good offense, but they, uh... They fucked up on that. They, like, you know, like, you see their formation where they all charge you at the same time, all of them? Well, they did that. And I threw the ball past them to either Titus or Volucha, who were on the other side of their wall of offense. And I got past them, and they had no line of defense once they get up to their goal. So yeah, while, you know, it can be a good defense and an offense to have the good offense and all that, but if you get past that, they're kind of fucked, and they were most certainly fucked by that. Oh, Titus just about managed to get the most goals by one. Tournament over. Congratulations, if it's or it's a funny shit job by eight number one. Also, the, uh, the St. Aurox team leveled up again as well. Uh, I don't know how you set the techniques, though, like, for the, uh, formations. Please accept this prize, an elixir. Twice as a top scorer, so you get Ether as well. Zadar's current level is 9, it was 8 last time, now it's 9. Number of wins, 41. It's 
ridiculous. I'm not gonna continue playing Blitzball, but just want to show you. See the league here? Still going on. And I've looked it up, and the uh, sigil that we need for Walker is apparently obtained in a league once you've uh, got all these overdrives. So I imagine in order to get that to potentially appear, I have to clear this league first, which I've been, I think, gotten through two or three rounds at least. But it's like ten rounds or something, if I recall. So there's still quite a way to go through that bloody league, and then I have to go for another league. And so that's only, well, even more than that, potentially, if the next league doesn't have it as the freaking first place prize. Because that would suck. Anyways, I f just like, I was just playing now and then, I was like, so what the fuck am I going to be doing here? <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I've been rounding up fiends, that's why I'm in this general area. Got a couple of levels. Oh yeah, that's, that's one of the main reasons why I'm just like, now why let's do a recording. It's because, have I even got anything? I was thinking of maybe, which one is, which one is that? I was maybe thinking of giving this to Oren, but then I was like, but Oren does better in the opposite kind of way, so. Maybe Walker. Let's see if Walker even has one that I can use. That would be useful. Hmm. Ooh, he does. Okay, good. For you see, I also bribe Marlboros. And I now finally got 30 wings to discovery. I bribed two different Marlboros and got three of these each, I think, from each one, or something like that. And I'd already galled up some wings of discovery ages ago, so at long last, we can do the break HP limit. And let's do that now! Super goalie! Man, I don't know how much uh, dark matter you need for ribbon, but man, that's ridiculous. We got enough for auto phoenix as well. It's I wanna just, but I don't wanna max it out completely on this. What I wanna do potentially for uh, Walker is to make it so that he's confused proof, but as you can see, I've got enough musk for that. Or berserk proof. That's two abilities I want him to potentially have. You know. I suppose stone proof would also do as good as well, maybe. Uh, decisions, decisions. Fuck it, sleep proof. Alright, let's, let's test this uh, out, shall we, and see if his HP magically changes, because now. He should go over max HP because he's freaking got like I don't even know how much on the freaking thing. Yeah, there we go. I would have thought he'd got more HP than that, but he has got the most HP of the characters. Now it's time for the wonderful adventures of Spear and Grid. A wonderful Spear Grid, a wonderful. Oh, my way out. Lily may not have, like, a lot of HP compared to everyone else, but she is a freaking tank when it comes to magic. She freaking tanks ultimate for God's sake. Granted, she had Mikey Dom, but my God, she hasn't got exactly HP for days, you know, so it's really quite shocking how she was able to go that shit. How about... Okay, let's give me some more magic defense. As you can see, I've pretty much got all the spears I need here, which is good. You know what, I might as well get that old Lux spear over there, because I actually, uh, faced the, uh, Earth Eater and got two of them. I got two of them because I got overkill on it. Word of uh, advice on that, just like, if facing the Earth Eaters, a good strategy is just to freaking grand summon Anima and you just freaking destroy it. Anima is overpowered, man. But you may be wondering why he probably aren't, because we'll be in the title inevitably, so... You know what, Titus, you're weak as shit, so we can use some more strength. What else could we use? Actually, what is this? Okay. I'd say... Accuracy for you. Some enemies just have, in fact, the enemy I'm going to be facing probably counts as one of them. That will have a lot of evasion and will likely kick my ass. Ah, oh, goddammit, it's pretty cool. Why do you have to have so much movement? I mean, it's good because you're going to get a lot of stats, but still. It's a the pain in the arse, you know? So, you might as well know you've got a E-Ha. You get more hype to brains. You know, even when I put on a silly voice, I just now realize this will be sped up so it won't make any difference. Really, would it? 
I just do silly voices for whatever reason. I'm not entirely really sure about it. Maybe the people here and we get that strength. What are your stats anyway? Double defense and everything else there. How about we give you some defense then? Yeah, Lord knows we're going to be needing all that. Okay, let's give you another one. Yes, like your bad rock callus for these, I know, but I can get them quite easily now that I can fight the monsters and queens and all that in the uh, monster arena. Because uh, ones that drop these stuff aren't really that tough at this point in the game. Well, they are, but I can handle them with the base. What strength? Walk, 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 Maybe in here. Why don't you have that luck? Why don't you? I can always get more. Or it is a pain to have to farm them in any capacity whatsoever, to be honest. Hmm, um, 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 Go over here. You know, which way, which way? How about here first? God, these recordings go on for frickin' ever, don't they? I haven't even really started the recording yet, more or less, really, here. Yeah. We haven't even got to the point of this. Now you're now. You're all back here. I'm able to see what the stats are. Ooh, now I know why you're able to attack, tank a lot of magic stuff. Your magic defense is fantastic. So you know what? Why not have another one? Because I caught a million of them. Oh, now this spear grid will look like in the end. You can actually, uh, once you've run up five of every fiend in all of Spirit, you can get this, uh, Icon from the monster arena guy that allows you to remove stuff like this, so it becomes more like these, an empty node. So you can just like, say for example this, you can get rid of this and use HP node. That will like increase it to like 400 or something. So you can like really use that to its full potential. Don't know how well I'll use it though. Now we go over here, Kamari, Kamari, again HP for days, I'm going last. Can you find it see the max HP limits? We shall see in time. Look at all the colors on the frickin' shit from where I've been being. Reminds me of a frickin' birthday cake for some reason with all the candles and shit. And those sprinkle shit, that's some cake somehow. What is this over here? Play. Sums up this whole, uh, spirit raid thing here. We're just delaying the inevitable battle. Did Kamari not be still hasn't reached max HP because he's just kind of slow on the spear grid. Heck, the only ones who've really made it that far so far are Riku, Oren technically, but he can't go over max HP yet, and Waka, everyone else is still lagging behind. Anyways, the whole point of this is... Well, since we're like 17 minutes into this recording already, it's inevitable what the choice will be. You're counting on me, kid. I don't particularly want to do this because I've read up that this bastard can like hit you with uh, an attack that negates auto life and I hope it doesn't have a range attack. Here we go. I wanted to just like get freaking Walker's freaking ultimate celestial weapon fully maxed out by this point but no it's taken forever. So fuck it, we're gonna continue on with the Dark Aeon shit a bit. I was also thinking of taking on all of the uh, Species Conquest fiends at the uh, Monster Arena, but I was like, you know what, that'd take for frickin' ever. Especially the frickin' Flan. I've defeated every one of them at least once at this point now. But it would just take way too long. Like way, 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 way too long. And you know, just to make things a little easier on us, let's have no encounters until we meet the Samana. We're gonna face Dark Zeon, or whatever the fuck its name's pronounced as. I'm not looking forward to it. Not looking forward to it one bit. 
remember this place and how we dodged the uh, 200 lightning bolts and I wrote a song about it. Ow! I was trying to freaking open the menu, but I pressed the wrong button. Re equip your good shit. Hi. I said hi. You heathen! You heathen! You sound older than you look, sir. Why must they have the most ridiculous running animation? Are we chasing him or is he chasing us? Kamari senses trouble. Something up there? That was a delayed response, Titus. Let's go. No, let's stand here for a while. And Kamari's like, we're no, we're not getting out of this one. How majestic. It'd be funny if his head was just zapped there, isn't it? So, oh, why are we having a battle out here? Is that a kid summoner or what? Or just a really short guy? Yeah, Dark Zeon. This is the one we have to fight twice. And he gets a turn right off the bat. Oh my god. You better not have a shit ton of range attacks, man, because that would suck. I still remember my training. Well, not training, I just remember the combination at this point. Ah, yeah, fortune spheres, that's why. And now it's over here! Wait, what was- Ah, oh, yeah, that must have been the, uh... What was it? Wings Discovery? Hyper my J, guys! G whiz! Why did I say G whiz? You know what? It would have been good to teach Lulu Ultima using the Black Magic Spear. Because seriously, that would be useful. I hope you don't have Reflect. I don't know too much about uh, this one. I don't think I've ever actually faced off the Ultima, honest, because I like the scene before it, I don't think I'd ever seen it before. You suck. Just about gone. <laughs> you could do better damage just by hitting it normally, you weak piece of shit. At least he isn't using this one attack that I hear is, uh, very much uh, really, really tough because it negates auto life. He hasn't used it yet, so yeah. I 
I want to get everyone in on the battle, but it's kind of tough to do with this dickhead being, you know, a dickhead. Mug this bitch. Ow. Ow. Well, Titus, I ain't gonna use your overdrive because it sucks ass and we need to revive Kamari. I suppose auto life would also be a good thing. Now you must revive the dumbass. Really? No turns? Fuck it. Orin, get your ass out here. Yeah. Be careful with his overdrive, though. Once that shit gets very... Well, it's already very close to being full. Once it f gets real, real close, that's that's our cue to frickin' bring out an Aeon. Ah, uh, I guess Mighty God didn't include immunity to that. I have a fear that if I attack you, you're gonna one shot me. What's happening there? He's like, oh no, she'll freaking cast the goods. She's got the aeons. She'll destroy me. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, really? I think Titus might have all the life. Just in case. Jesus Christ, he really doesn't want her to summon an AI. And he's freaking got the overdrive up. Ah, oh, fuck. Did you know, by the way, that we can actually, uh... Oh, where is it? We can actually run away. <laughs> if all else fails, run away. And they'd probably just let us. Hey guys. Just like, oh. Hello. Again. You want to fight again? Just like, these guys are idiots. They could've just ran away. Fucking dark aeons. Eh, 
Well, at least his overdrive has been reset, I suppose. But that probably also counts for his HP as well. I give it credit though, this thing is smart and knows who to target. You suck, as we've established. Yeah, fuck. Got evasion. Ow. Let's put some more auto life. No, it's a shame Auto Life is just like a weak version of a Phoenix Down. Because if it was a bit better than that, we'd get a freaking turn out of this shit, but no. No such luck. You know what? You know what I gotta say to you, sir? Even though this will be weak as shit because it'll be a magic defense. But I say fuck you. All we should really do is get Yuna off the field so I can easily switch out. That is going to be the plan of action or whatever the wording is. Course of action. So really, it is most unwise to have her on the field at such a, ah, um, whatever. Fuck, missed. Oh! Can't you switch out with Lowly for me? My cause you just get your arse kicked. Now this is a useful ability to have this. This is the one overdrive that I like to lose. Because you can get a shit ton of them. And provided that you can get past defense enough, which this one doesn't, you'd get all your HP back in just one turn. At the expense of your uh, opponent getting their ass handed to them, but of course it's not to be the case here. Even with her insane magic defense, you saw how much that did. It's ridiculous. Fuck it! Ah. Oh. The time is now! 
maybe. Because I, 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 I'm, I'm chancing. It's a bit risky. Because, you know, he could potentially one-shot anima, and then as soon as it gets de-summoned, he uses overdrive, and we could be fucked over. It's kind of unpredictable. One thing's for sure, Anima is not gonna get an turn after this. Even if you survive one hit from this fucker, you are so screwed. Come to think of it, what I really should have done was summon any old Aeon and use shield. That was probably what I should have done, rather than going fully with this. How dare you limit animals offense, you motherfucker! There should have been another zero on that. Bitch. Ooh, just about. Here it comes. Ooh! I don't think that was the overdrive, but that's the one I think that negates auto life. So it's a good thing that you took that forest, Anima. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Unless we get knocked out. <laughs> like that, but all three of us at the same time. Should be off the field at all times because it's dangerous to be out here, you know. This is the danger zone. Drive up, we might be able to do something good, but no. Ow. smart, he's intelligent, he's learning fast, and I don't like it. You know what? Fuck it. Titus, you do the honors instead. I don't think you have full life, no. Doesn't really matter with Warren, really. Wait, once again, once again, once again, I'm a curtain. An amulet. An ass shot. This is just round one, for God's sake. We have to fight this thing twice. Second time is apparently easier, though. Not that I'm saying much, really. Ladies, will you go in recklessly? Fuck it, you will go in recklessly. But with a different overdrive. Right. 
Fuck you. We must once again resort to the same old things. We're running out of amulets at this rate. Good thing Riku's overdrive goes up immediately because we're, I think she said the comrade. I can't remember. Tamari's one is kind of similar as well. If he gets knocked out, his overdrive goes right up. Like an erection. See what I mean? <laughs> Can you guess what you have to do now? Why yes, it's the same thing again! Ha ha ha! This will be split with two parts at this rate. Here comes the dick! Here comes the dick! He one shot of you! So what a life for you! Of course, if she gets knocked out, her overdrive doesn't go up. It's when everyone else gets knocked out that he does. I wonder if Tornado will do us any good. It's the only time we can really get him to do two hits, but he usually doesn't do much. At least in terms of what he's capable of in one shot. Underwhelming compared to his normal attacks. Why are overdrive so ineffective against this bitch? Oh! Man, that's not good. That's not good at all, in fact, you could say. Drive is nearly fully up, man. I think we kind of fucked a little eye, like, you know. Hell, that really hurt, like, man. Should that mine in a heart? I hope you'd like. Hey, what the hell? Uh, uh, fuck that. Nah. Yeah, I can't hit him because he probably won't shot me, so I've got to fucking just summon a fucking iron. Well, what are you in the fucking way for? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the, uh, a uh, defend option, whatever it's called, and see what happens. Hopefully Veilford doesn't get one-shotted, because if it gets one-shotted, that means we're gonna get one-shotted as well. Shield yourself! Oh, fuck. That didn't go well. Okay, I've got an idea. The idea is this. Fuck you! Ow. Now he's technically got his overdrive up. And now how about we summon our own? Zeon. But not use Zeon's overdrive because it's elemental unlike this bitch 
who gets free reigns on having non-elementals. Imagine if Xeon hit it with his overdrive, they'd probably just absorb it. Because it's an addict. Shield! Aha! Oh, he gets two turns. Look at that! If that was, you know, actually fun gadget or whatever the fuck, he would have absorbed it. No! Free reigns on non elemental magic! Freaking cheating bastard! If we're not allowed to do that, then you're not allowed to do that, you piece of shit. Freaking asshole, man. How about we keep Yuna on the field simply to do some healing so we can build up her potential overdrive to ransom and well, ransoms don't do shit really in this battle, but we're shots. Oren just can't catch a break. As we've established before, when you're that badass, everyone wants to kick your ass. Mm. Let's do some more healing. I mean, I feel like only Oren can really, you know, do any good against this bitch. But you know what? Fuck it. Mug a bitch. Ow. your overdrive already. You would switch out. I know I've said, you know, not to do that, but fuck it. Mug! Ow. Thing has way too much frickin' HP. And you know what? We're at 48 minutes. This is ridiculous. So I'm going to stop the recording and record immediately after. This is inevitably going to be split into two parts. By which point in the video itself, I don't know. But I will be right back.